Wow. I can't believe it. I'm back. It's been way too freaking long. Now, where are the notes that I've been writing down for two years that contain all my genius ideas? Nice. Right. What the? Hey everyone, it's me, Isaac, and I'm back. How surprising, am I right? You're probably asking why. Why, all of a sudden, Isaac is back doing things on CIR. Well, I came back from Mexico, and with a sudden abundance of time, I decided that, that you know, why not help the channel again? Originally, I was going to do another recreate, and I had some plentiful of other ideas I wanted to introduce. But sadly, I can't because the demon in my closet won't let me. And I'm too afraid to go in and fish out my notes. Anyway, I decided that I was going to do a totally legit, 100% trustworthy, 100% serious review on the Xbox One S. I know it's been done before, and I probably am a little too late to be doing more reviews on the Xbox, but I have some interesting criteria that I like to share with y'all about how this console could be improved. Now, let's get into it. Okay, for this part, I'm actually going to eat something because I haven't ate anything for a while. So, uh, give me a second. Woo! I'm back. Alright, so I ate my sandwich. I'm all good and ready. So, for this part of the review, I'm actually going to divide it into three sections. The, the design, the system, and the content. So, we're going to start on the design, obviously, with my Xbox. And it's the Xbox One S. Standard design. Yada, yada, yada. Alright. Let's get into it. To start off, in my opinion, the design is okay. Obviously, I have to take in consideration that there's multiple varieties of the Xbox One S. There are some in multiple colors, you know, you know, the standard stuff. And there's actually a only digital version, which gets rid of this disc thing and makes it all digital. So you can only buy your games digitally. And that looks really nice because from a distance, it actually does look like a piece of white chocolate. Which is, uh, looks, looks delicious. On the positive side, they have really nice colors. I actually looked on the internet. But, it is filled with negatives. And I mean, holy smokes. Look at the size of this thing. It is so small. My hands could carry this so easily. You know what they say in Texas? They say that bigger is better. And look at this. Compared to the Xbox One, it's so, it's, it's disastrous. It, it, look at it, man. Look at it. That, for that reason alone, it, it loses a lot of points because obviously we want a bigger Xbox. I want an Xbox for crying out loud. Not an X rectangular prism. Look, look at this BS. Oh, I can't believe it. On top of that, there's a lot of circles on it, and why would any sane person buy an Xbox? No, why would they buy a box with circles? <sighs> it's hideous. It's horrible. I don't even like the white color on my Xbox. It should be black, because black is better. At least for my opinion. <sighs> for that, it loses a lot of points. hop onto any game console, not just the Xbox. I want the system to be as simple as possible, yet have a variety of tools for the gamers to have, to be able to use. You know, the standard stuff, right? But, I don't know if it's just me, or it's my inability to read, or if I'm just a simpleton. Oh man, it's complicated. Last week, when I signed up on my Xbox to play literally any game, I couldn't. 
It wouldn't let me. It said that the console couldn't update itself. What? It was stupid. It took me four days to fix the issue. I'll be, I wasn't the one fixing it. But man, dude, like, that's four days too many. And even after fixing the console with that stupid problem, 20 more problems arose. Like, dude, I received death threats from that thing. In conclusion, for the system at least, it's a complicated mess. It doesn't work. It doesn't start. You receive threats when you get it to work. I'm going to hash off a few points for this. As for the content on the console, on the Xbox, which is arguably the most important thing on any console, I gotta say, the content's pretty good. Since I can't really take care of my money, I couldn't really buy that many games, but I did play some free titles. One of the games that I played, not to be confused, confusion warning, is called Total War Alita. Not to be confused with Total War Attila. Total War Alita is like almost identical to Total War Attila. But the main difference is that there's no empires. There's not even any, there's not even a map. It's just about a guy eating wings. Yeah, I know. It's weird and it's too, not too long either. Just about a guy eating wings all the time. And with that, that concludes my entire interview. Obviously, my rating system has to make no sense. So I'm going to rate it 3 out of 5 Pringle cans in How the Milky Way. See you in the next video. Peace.